Hello. So in today's session, I'll be showing you on how to create a dashboard uh, so that we can save, we can uh, we can have the, the various visualizations that we made in our dashboard. You know, the dashboard is a very important feature in the DHS too because it is able to tell stories to the users. Okay, so first of all, I'll show you how we can save this. I'll go to the file and then click save and give it a name because basically we know that it is dealing with the NC as from where we left last time, NC visit uh, underscore uh, NC visit for the last six months, six months. But remember I told you whenever you're creating your dashboard, I would prefer you use a prefix. So I can say, uh, I can use a prefix space for this and call it space NC visit and then you can write a description you can say it shows the maybe it displays the nc visits for the last six months in sierra leone in sierra leone in sierra leone and then you save Okay, so uh, for example, let's say uh, we need to have a visualization whereby we compare between the first NC visit uh, against the NC coverage within this region. So this is how we can go about it. So let's say we want to create another visualization whereby we compare the first NC visit and the second NC visit. So this is how you'll do it. You'll go to file and then click new. So you'll create a new dash, a new, it will give you an option of creating a new visualization. As always, you remember the three dimension, you'll click on data and then you'll select NC visit. NC second, first visit, you double tap on it, it goes to the right. And then I'll also do the NC coverage. So we want to compare the data collected for the first visit against the coverage or yeah. So you will click on hide and then again for the period, let's do with the uh, last six months, I'll double tap on it and then I'll hide. And then lastly, for the organization unit, I'll uncheck the use organization unit and then come and check Sierra Leone and then click update. So this is the data, but you can see the coverage is kind of small. It's so tiny. We can't see it so easily unless I had the first visit. That's what you'll see. It means that the first visit and the coverage are using two scales, two different scales. So we need to have a visualization that enables us to have two scales. Okay, so how do we go about this so that you can be able to see both of these visualization. So you'll go to options and under options, uh, we'll go to the series. So under series, we'll have to select, we'll make sure that the NC first coverage is on axis one and the NC uh, first visit is on axis four. So I'll change them like that and then click on update. So you can see we're having two visualizations in our chart. So these are the two. So you can see we are having a, diff a scale, a scale for the coverage over here and a scale for the visit over here. But for the color, it's bringing some issues a bit. Maybe we, were not, we can't be able to uh, change the color for this, so we'll have to use this one. So basically, you've seen I've been able to insert two scales for our visualization. So you can go ahead and then uh, give it a name, give it a name. You'll come over here under axis, and then we'll give the y axis a title. Y axis uh, a title, we'll customize it. I'll give it the name. Our uh, y axis is the uh, number of yeah nc yeah in nc visits nc visit and uh, the y-axis number one was the nc coverage i'll give it the name nc coverage and then the second one was nc visit and see visit and then the uh, x axis is the epidemiological trend Epidem epidemiological 
period like that and then i'll update so you can see very well that uh in our visualization we are having a scale for the nc coverage towards our right and then for the nc visit towards our left and then we've given it a title epidemiological trend so if i want these ones to be bold i'll go ahead and change that i'll go to option axis so here where we have nc coverage i'll make it bold i can change the color let's have another color maybe we can do something like uh, maybe black and then i'll go to the that for the y-axis the y-axis the first one and then the second one i'll just make it bold and leave it blue and then the x-axis i'll just make it bold and leave it black and then update so you can see here they have become bold and everything is fine so this one is uh, this is how we add two scales in there uh in our visualization two y-axis scales and then also the we name the axes and then so the next thing after doing so you'll add a title it's always to have a title for your visualization so i'll go to uh style and then click on custom give it a title and say nc first visit bus nc coverage one coverage one and then make it bold and then update it you can see we are having our title over here this is our title so uh i'll have to save this so that you can use it on the dashboard i'll come and go to file click on save and then say nc nc visit nc first visit bus coverage coverage but remember this i told you we have to use a prefix and a very unique prefix which is space this one will assist us when searching for this element and then i'll save if you want you can add some description so let's say we want to play around let's have maybe something like uh, not only having these bar graphs we can change so that we can have another type of visualization i'll click up there and then i can select a stacked column and then click update so it will show us as a stacked column but you see this one is not that good visualization so for this case i can choose let's have a line graph and then update yes here is our line graphs that we are having so we can save this one and maybe give it uh, i'll just say if i want to change the visualization the one that i have currently uh i want to give it a different name i'll say savers and then say uh, space and see first visit and then here i can say line graph line graph and then save it maybe you can change the visualization too uh let's say we want to have uh, something like a pie chart we'll go to and select the we'll go to your top left corner and then we'll have to select a pie chart like this and then click update let's see if it visualizes well but you see this one is not that good so we can just have the two i hope that's clear up to that point so if you want to open the visualization that you had just saved you go to file and then you say open and then you can filter by name i'll just say space and then you can see we are having a visualization over here so for example if i want to access the first one that we had created i can click on it and then it will tell me you want to leave yes i'll leave because i don't want this one yes leave and here it will bring the visualization that we had created first so this visualization we can also change it so that you can have another one i'll go i'll select over here and maybe i'll say a stacked column and then i'll click update so here are some of the stacked columns so if i want these i'll save them too i'll come and say save us and then here i'll say stacked just call it stacked and then save we can change the visualization again uh, maybe you can have something like a pie chart you can click update and then here it will create for us a pie i'll save this one too i'll click save us and then give it a name a pie and then save and then lastly let's say let me choose a visualization such as a line graph will assist us line and then i'll click update 
So re category, I'll have to switch these ones. If you want to rearrange them, you can see it has told me the category is empty. So I have to make sure something falls under the category. So I can have a period over here. And then update. Here is our line graphs that are there. So for the categories, the series, you just play around, you maneuver with them, it will bring the best visualization that you want. So I'll click file and then I'll save us and then give it the line, the name line and then save. So I hope that's clear. We have been able to create the various visualization that we have. So whatever is remaining is on how to create our dashboard. So we have two ways that you can, you can maneuver to the dashboard. On your top uh, left corner here, where we have the DHS2 logo, you can click over there or you can go to the menu and then search for the dashboard. dashboard. And then you can use this. So for now, I'll use this because it is not the common one. I'll click here and then it will take me back to the, uh, to the menu, to the dashboard the original dashboard that we had so here we are in the dashboard you give it time to load it depends with your internet connection etc so for now i want to create for us i want to show you how we can create a dashboard for the visualization that we've just created i'll click the plus icon create a new dashboard and then i'll say nc dashboard i'll call it nc dashboard and then we need to add some items on this dashboard and uh, so we have various things you can choose the layout so that it can assist you to arrange whether it's free or fix etc so for now I'll just use the free layout and don't play around with this for now we'll come here and search i'll use my q my prefix space so i'll come it will bring all the prefix all the visualization created by the namespace you can see them so if you want to insert you just click tap on it once one and then I'll insert this other one, I'll insert this, I'll insert this, I'll insert this. And then lastly, these, they're being added at the bottom. That's why you're wondering why am I clicking, but I can't see them. They get added at the bottom of it. You can see here they are, here they are. Just a matter of time and then they'll be able to visualize it. So I'll have to rearrange my dashboard very well. So I'll make sure this one, I can drag it like this so that it can get to the middle. I'll bring this other one over here. It's up and then at the top bottom corner, top uh, right corner, bottom right corner, I'm saying you, you'll see an icon where we can drag it and here you can drag it up to the left, up to the right and then it will go like that. And then we have this other one. I can drag this to come on top. Yeah, like that. And also this to come on top here. Yeah like that it has gone well and then also this let's say i want to put it to be broad i'll just drag it like this up to the end like that you see it's good well and nice so yeah so this is how we've been able have been able to rearrange them if you want to resize them you come here at the bottom corner there is a uh, two arrows the cursor develops two arrows so you can either move this one like this or like this so as to resize it the way you want. If I want to drag this one to another point, I just bring the cursor on top here and the middle part. So you're able to drag it the way you want, either left, right, and you can customize it the way you want. So you can add some description. You can say the dashboard, the dashboard displays the NC, NC visits for coverage in Sierra Leone, in Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone, like that. And then after I'm done, I'll save my changes. I'll save them. So you can see here we are having our NC dashboard. And this is the dashboard that I've just created from the visualization we've created, as simple as that. So you can start this dashboard if you like it. You'll start it over here. If you need to change something, I'll come to edit. If I, after clicking edit, it will give you an option of editing. So you can decide maybe, maybe let's delete this, this one and then you will delete it. Or if you want to add more items, you will come over here and then maybe choose this one, click on it and then it will be added at the bottom. Here it is. 
So if I don't like this, I need to delete it. I just click remove this and then it will be gone. And then you can save it. You can use a print preview. You can filter, translate, delete, etc. But for now, I'll just save it like that. So I've said, if you want to edit it, you will click on this edit. Here we have an option of starting. We can also share the dashboard with the various users within the DHS too. So let's say, for example, the county health records officer or any other stakeholders within the health information system is within the DHS too. You can search their name and then of the user group, uh, maybe let's say data clerks or any other person, you'll, you, you'll find them. You can search them and then you'll find them and then share with them this dashboard. Okay, and then also we can add more filter to this dashboard, maybe some dimensions, some areas, so it will be able to change the whole project. So let's say we want to change the organization unit, I'll just click on that. Maybe we can use for both, and then I click confirm. So all the data will be changed to be it will change and be both. It will be showing the data for both, as simple as such. So you can see here we are having the filter for both. And then also when you click on more, you can make it available offline. You can style it, you can show description, you can print it. You can say print and then you'll say dashboard layout. And then it will be able to print the dashboard layout as simple as this. So you can share this in your report or presentations. Yes. So let me exit the print preview. And that's how we create the a very simple dashboard so for now our dashboard just contain these uh the visual uh, items from the data visualizer so from next time we'll be able to do something about the maps and i'll show you how we can use the maps application thank you guys and remember to subscribe and bring more share thank you